Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a normal and a tangent to an ellipse. So if you have an ellipse like the one I'm having here, and you are asked to draw a tangent to the ellipse or to draw a normal, so I'm going to be showing you how to go about it in this video. So uh, if you are watching this video, I want to believe uh, you already know how to draw an ellipse itself. Because, like the one that we are having here, this is ellipse using the rectangular method, while the one here why this particular one is using the auxiliary circle method the auxiliary circle method so if you don't really know how to draw an ellipse so you can check the description of this video you are going to see the link to where you are, it's going where it's going to put you through how to draw either of these two maybe the auxiliary circle method or the rectangular method so you are going to see the video on how i did this to draw uh, these two ellipses so now that we already have the ellipse that we are going to be using so what if you are asked to draw a tangent from a given point on the ellipse itself, that means on the curve. So let's pick this point. So let's just take this point as where we are asked to draw a tangent. So let me just note that point. And let me call that point, point T. Point T. You are asked to draw a tangent to this ellipse from this point. So how do we go about it? About it? So I'll be, that's what we are going to be covering in this video so before we get into this video proper at least if you are here to subscribe please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy so just click on that button with subscribe all right thank you very much if you have just done that and let me know in the comment section if you already subscribe click on the subscribe button just write something like I've subscribed all right so let me tape the drawing sheets so what you are going to do now is from this point E at the top you measure half of the major axis now when we talk about the major axis that is the length from this point h to point g represents the major axis why the one from here to here represents the minor axis and for this particular uh ellipse that i have here the major axis is 12 centimeter why the minor is 8 centimeter if you watch the video on how i did this you are going to see that so let me write it this is the major major axis and this is the minor so the major is 12 centimeters so what i'm going to do is half of the major axis so since it's 12 centimeters so i'll be measuring six centimeter so here is i already have six centimeter so i'll place it on this point where i'm having point e and then i'll draw an arc so let me just so that you can see the arc clearly so so this is this is my arc so now note the point where the arc is touching line uh, the line hg this line like this that is the major axis so let's note that point so it is touching it here and here so let's note that point so let's call that point point y1 and point y2 let me let me call this y2 So this point I call Y1 and Y2 is also called the vocal points, the focal points. So next thing is, so where it's, from this point, I'll join it to this point T, where we are to draw our tangent. So I'll join it to point T. So now, with this now, this is forming an angle. So the angle Y1, T, Y2. So this is forming an angle. The next thing you have to do is, now this angle that it is forming, we have to bisect it. That means to, to divide this angle. So to do that, we are going to be using our compass. So I'll, at any convenient length, I'll pick my compass. So I'll draw an arc on this line. I'll draw another arc. So now I'll increase the length of my compass. So where it is where this arc is touching line Y1 T. I'll draw an arc. So then from the same length on this point, I'll draw another arc. So from their point of intersection. 
So this is where the boats intercept. So from point of intersection, I'll draw a line to T. Now, I've, with this now, I've been able to, to bisect this angle. So if you check the playlist on technical drawing, there's a video I did that explained how to bisect an angle. So the principle there is what I applied here. So if it's not clear, you can check that video. But the same thing as what I've just done here. So now I've been able to bisect this angle that we are having here. Now this line that we that divides this angle, which is the bisector, this line represents what the normal. This is the normal. So if you are asked to draw a normal to an ellipse, so this is how you go about it. So if you are only drawing a normal, then that is that is the end. But note, we are also looking at how to draw a tangent. It's two things this video is covering: how to draw a normal to an ellipse and how to draw a tangent from a given point. So now we've gotten our normal. So this is the normal. Now for us to get our tangent is now from this point T, you know, we want to draw a tangent from this point T. We are now going to draw a line that is perpendicular to the normal. So the line that is perpendicular to the normal is what is the, the, give us the tangent. So that line is the tangent. So to do that, so from this point T, for us to draw a line that is perpendicular, you are going to pick your compass. You place it on point T, you know, at any convenient less. So you draw an arc on that on the normal. So you pick then twice then the length from this point to this point. So you can decide to measure yours. So I'll take the length of the dist uh, the distance between it. So I'll use it to draw an arc at the top and below. So with the same length, I'll come to this point. draw an arc so I'll join the point of intersection the point of intersection will definitely pass through point C so now this line that I've just drawn represents the tangent so let me write it on it this is the tangent So with that now, this is how you go ahead to draw a tangent and a normal to an ellipse. So in the next video, I'm going to be using this uh, this other ellipse that I have here. That is the one I drew using the auxiliary, auxiliary circle method. I'm also going to be drawing a tangent from different... We are going to be picking another point, you know. For this one, I picked this point. But in the next video, I'm going to be picking another point where I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent and a normal. Just to give you more... Uh, more knowledge and idea on how to go about it. So if you find this video helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on, sub uh, on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. If you have any question or any comments for me, just leave them in the comments section below. Or maybe you have a video request on technical drawing or engineering drawing you want me to uh, to do, just leave them in the comments uh, section below. You can also check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. So that video is going to be popping up here. All right, thank you.